Hello everybody! Today we're going to read The Wizard of Oz. Dorothy lived in Kansas, America with Uncle Henry and Auntie Em. Her little dog, Toto, also lived with them. Dorothy and Toto were in the house together when along came some very nasty weather. <gasps> A big storm blew the house up high, way up into the sky. When the house came down, Dorothy looked all around. She said to Toto, I'm not sure, but I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. <gasps> Underneath the house, Two shoes were sticking out. Standing and looking at Dorothy was a crowd of little people. We are the Munchkins, they said. The Wicked Witch was mean. Now that she's dead, will you be our queen? <gasps> Dorothy shook her head and said, I can't stay. I want to go home. Can you show me the way? said the munchkins, but maybe our friend the good witch can. Go to the Emerald City and find the Wizard of Oz, said the good witch. Wear these magic silver shoes. But you need to be quick, there's no time to lose. Follow the road made of yellow bricks, you'll be there in just two ticks. Dorothy and Toto set off down the yellow brick road. Soon they met a scarecrow. My head's full of straw, he complained. What I really want is a brain. We're going to see the Wizard of Oz, said Dorothy. Maybe he can give you a brain. Dorothy, Toto and the scarecrow set off. Soon they met a tin man. Dorothy told him, you look smart. But I'm unhappy, he said, because I have no heart. We are going to see the Wizard of Oz, said Dorothy. Maybe he can give you a heart. Further along the road, they met a frightened lion. Everything I see and hear makes me shake and shiver with fear, said the lion. I need some courage. Maybe the Wizard of Oz can help you and give you some courage, said Dorothy. The friends walked and talked until they came to the Emerald City. What a wonderful sight! It looked very pretty. It was the strangest place they had ever seen. Everything was sparkling and bright green. A guard took Dorothy and her friends to see the wizard. The wizard sat in a great big chair and asked them all why they were there. I want a brain, said the scarecrow. I want a heart, said the tin man. I want some courage, said the lion. And I just want to go home, said Dorothy. The wizard put new stuffing inside the scarecrow's head. You will feel better now you have a brain, he said. And he put a red heart in the tin man's chest. It's a kind heart, he said. This is the very best. Then he gave the lion a special magic drink. This will give you courage, I think. Dorothy stood there quietly, feeling all alone. Please, she said to the wizard, will you help me to get home? The wizard replied, just do as I say and the magic shoes will take you away. Click your heels three times and say where you want to go. Dorothy did as he said. With a whoosh and a whirl, through the air she swirled. 
All at once, Dorothy and Toto were back in Kansas. Auntie Em hugged her tight and said, Where have you been? <gasps> to the land of Oz, said Dorothy. Let me tell you what we've seen. And that's the end. See you next time. Bye bye.